you gotta hype yourself up. But we'll see in the ring because at the end of the day, you know, all that doesn't matter. All that doesn't matter. I, like I like that they found excuses before the fight even started. Yeah, 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 I know. I was like, I only rehydrated 142. Why you can that check up? all my fights. Like, I never went up over 142 in any of my fights. Is the best thing about this night for you that you're really gonna be able to show, you know, everything you've been working on with yeah. Eddie? And I mean, this is gonna be the best boxing performance of Ryan Garcia. Yes, okay. you're gonna see that, and I promise you that. that that's what I look uh, to do. I look to put on my best performance and you know get my respect. That's all. I want. Is it cool? Because you know, I'm sure Oscar's probably talked to you about this. The people who are less popular than the other guy always want to chide his popularity. Man. You gotta, you gotta have some thick skin to get yes. through it, right? How yeah. do you deal with it? What have you learned about I dealing think, with that? I think I've always had a target on my back. You know, even before I was even famous. I mean, people always, for some reason, wanted to fight me. You know, even when I was a kid, people wanted to fight me. You know, I was at school. Like they just something about they look at me, I guess they just fucking hate me. But I've been dealing with this my whole life, you know. And uh, you know, I know kids like that from school. <laughs> they just they're just big bullies and they try to bully the kids, but you know, we're gonna see what uh, what he does in the ring. Are you planning to fight again this year, even after this fight? Yeah, I wanna fight Duno in November. Yeah. And that's what I plan to do. That quicker turnaround. Yeah, right away. November second, uh, hopefully get on the Canelo card if I do know. Uh, for uh, the co-main event on them. Do, do you think this fight's going to be that easy for you? That you're kind of lo also looking forward to the second already? You know, I feel like whatever it is, you know, I think I'll win no matter what. You know, if it's tough or if it's easy, I'm going to win. Um, mm -hmm. I've been working hard a day in and day out at the gym with Eddie. And, you know, I've been in tough sparrings and everything, you know. Uh, I've learned a lot. And I'm ready for every uh, every scenario. If it's tough or if it's easy, whether or not I'll be ready. What was the hardest part getting here? Uh, obviously, the last few weeks, about a month ago, you're pretty deflated with the, the politics behind yeah. the sport. What was the hardest part about dealing with all that and just getting here to you know, get in the fight uh, I don't think it was really hard because uh, I was staying in the gym. Uh, I think the, the main thing was trying to stay focused with all that crazy things going around you and it's like man I just want to fight you know I want to get in there and you know I, I, I did pick Avery Sparrow out of all three of those just because you know I feel like I get a lot of respect there he's a good boxer you know he can fight going forward and backward you know he may not be the biggest puncher but at least he can fight you know yeah. and a lot was made about perhaps your relationship with Golden Boy and whether or not you were happy with the way you were being promoted when you saw Oscar today you guys were salt smiles and hugs yeah. and all that stuff yeah. What has your relationship been like well, as well? I think just a lot of people like make it bigger than it is, you know. Everybody in negotiations.